today we are planting palm trees. I am Tom Holt from Holt Nurseries. I probably have one of the larger palm tree gardens in the state of Florida. It's a private collection and we have here over a thousand palm trees. And after this weekend, we're gonna have 1,100. Whee! <laughs> it's huge. So in this planting over the next couple of days, we're gonna mostly feature two different types of palm trees. One is the Mexican van palm, the Washingtonia Robusta, which grows 50 feet tall. And, and the other one is the queen palm. And I like the queen palms. It's kind of like a poor man's coconut palm. It is a feather palm and it is hardy to about 25 degrees. And I'm gonna do a series of them here. I'm gonna plant a real tall one, a short one, a real tall one, a short one, and, and, and have a nice silhouette of the palm trees I can watch as the sun goes down. Every time I get a whole bunch of palm trees like this, I feel it's Christmas morning. We take the palm trees off the truck and we put them all in our staging area and sometimes we have 30 varieties here. I guess we want the center to be... This hole has to be six by six by four feet deep. So these here are the queen palms. We're gonna put a 20 footer, a 13 footer, a 20 footer, a 13 footer, and then every once in a while, we're gonna punctuate it with a 40 foot Washingtonian palm. It's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, can you, yeah, I think he's right. Can we move just a little? Six inches. The whole thing lifted up and I think good. Better, right, Caesar? After we got all the queen palms in, here are the Washingtonias. It's gonna look beautiful. I said several times on this video series how much I love Disney World, and this is a picture taken at Epcot. It is the most beautiful Phoenix Reclinata palm tree I have ever seen. It is 30 feet tall and 30 feet wide. Well, I'd like to do my own version of this but not using a Phoenix palm tree. I want to use a Washingtonia and they get much bigger. I want to try to do something here that's 50 feet tall and maybe 40 feet wide. I don't even have enough palm trees now to make it 50 feet tall and 40 feet wide. But for today, we're going to make it 40 feet tall and maybe 20 feet wide. And we are going to use six or seven palm trees to do Well, I am not sure if my wife believes me or not, but I am almost done buying palm trees. Reason is my garden is full. This path is a quarter mile long. It takes 15 to 20 minutes to get one palm tree from the staging area to the planting area. It is a quarter mile out into the garden and then it is a quarter mile back to the truck. I don't know how many more plantings there are gonna be.
Well, we just planted 17 40 foot Washingtonia palm trees. And there was gonna be a tropical storm. On Saturday, we learned that the tropical storm was gonna be a Cat 2 hurricane. And then now, Monday morning, the Cat 2 hurricane can become a Cat 4 hurricane. So, everything we worked on, we're gonna take back out of the ground. It took us two days to plant. We're gonna to to take it back out of the ground. And I don't know, hopefully it doesn't take us two days to put it back in. Not only did we have to put all the palm trees in the ground, but we got these two by fours and these braces to help hold it in place. But I don't think these braces are hurricane proof. I just think they're um, normal wind proof or normal thunderstorm proof. I think Caesar, I don't know what Caesar's gonna think, man, he was complaining how much work this was. So look at all this, look, oh my goodness. So I think there's 10 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's three of them over here. But it's a little risky. These fall down, they can break, they can fall on the greenhouse, they can damage the greenhouse, they can snap in half when they hit the greenhouse. It's gonna be double work. But I think it's looking, I think the whole landscape is doing pretty good. It's this is gonna be part of that Mediterranean landscape I was talking about. It's gonna be a little, little tropical, but, but I love it. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get it back together next week after the storm passes. And hopefully this is the last hurricane of the year. Caesar, you did a really good job here, staking all these trees. Okay. A lot of work? Well, that's a lot of work. Yeah. I got terrible news. Uh-huh. What happened? Corey wants to take every tree out of the ground. What you want? Every one you, we did on Friday, every one we did on Saturday. Nah, maybe not. Maybe it's okay. I need to put the stays in the bottle. Maybe it's okay. Yeah. That's a lot of work for that kind of put the stays this in the This is what he says. Everything. He says if the palm tree blows over, uh huh. It could hit the greenhouse. It could wreck the greenhouse. And maybe broke it. Break the palm tree. Yeah. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible for me. I pay. There's, you know how expensive they are. Uh, maybe okay, everything. No, see, sir. No. I, he says take it out. It was, you said take it out yes. again? Yes. I, it's terrible. I mean, but it's terrible. He takes it out. I'm out thousands and thousands. But... If they fall over, I could be out more than thousands and thousands. Man, this is a lot of work, man. Yeah. He's going to take them all out of the ground and put them, put them down where they used to. He's going to put everything across the thing. Then he's going to come back on Monday or Tuesday and we start all over again. And next week? Next week. <laughs> it's a lot of work. It means a lot of tired for put it back in again. Maybe we use Jim's guy. Oh, no. So... This is the most ambitious palm tree planting I have ever done. It's the most expensive palm tree planting I've ever done. And in 48 hours, we're gonna get hit with the biggest hurricane we've had since I've lived here. In 2004, I moved to Florida. And we're about to get hit by the biggest hurricane since 2004. And they weren't even calling for a hurricane. On, third, on Saturday morning, I left the house. They said tropical storm, maybe Cat 1. Well, this whole process was very painful. It took us two and a half days to install these palm trees. And... Now we're taking it all down again. But as my friend Corey said, he says it's better that we control the tree drop instead of the hurricane controlling the tree drop. Hurricane drops the tree a wrong way. We could break the palm tree in half. We could destroy a greenhouse. There's all types of things we could do. So at least this way, we have a say and we just come back next week and put the whole thing back together. So, 
I'm a little concerned about this hurricane. I've been I've been in Florida since 2004, and I've been in, at this facility since 2010. And we have a forecast for 100 mile an hour winds. This part of Florida has not seen 100 mile an hour winds in over 100 years. I must say, guys, with this approaching storm, I feel a little vulnerable. I pray that all my employees are okay. I pray that the garden is okay. I pray that all my fish be okay. I pray that all my reptiles are okay. So I hope my greenhouses aren't destroyed. I hope none of my live oaks, my live oaks are 150 years old. I hope the big live oaks around my house are not destroyed. I hope my house is not destroyed. We will see you next week and don't forget to like and subscribe.